You may think you know the purpose of all the products you use day in day out. But if you look back to why these products were invented, they're usually for different reasons than for what we use them as today. It turns out way back when, ordinary things had totally different uses. So get ready to never look at inventions you use every day the same way again. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at things invented for totally different purposes. But before we get into it, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first, let's look at bubble wrap. Everyone uses bubble wrap in packaging. For example, when you want to move house, I'm sure you have rolls and rolls of this stuff. And you'll also see it in the box of every delivery shipped to your house. Bubble wrap was invented by Alfred Fielding and Mark Chavanez in 1957. They wanted to make a three-dimensional plastic wallpaper for houses. That's right, they actually wanted this stuff to be like a wallpaper. You'd basically see right through to the wall as this does not cover anything. And frankly, I'm not sure who would base their home off an insane asylum. So obviously their bizarre interior decorating idea did not work out. But they did realize the material could be used for packaging instead. So they patented it as bubble wrap and it's become indispensable ever since. Their first client was IBM and they used it for packaging their computers. Next up is treadmill. To work off some calories, many people like to use the treadmill in gyms. But treadmills have a pretty dark past, which may make you think twice about using them. The prototype of a modern treadmill was created by Sir William Cubitt in 1818. He designed this after visiting a prison. He realized many of the prisoners were idle, not doing anything. But he thought why not put their muscle power to good use and make them mill grain. So he created a grain mill which involved prisoners lining up, holding onto a bar and walking on the spot. It was basically an endless staircase with a wheel. Seeing drawings of prisoners use this treadmill back then really has parallels to right now. Maybe the new prison is the gym and you're the prisoner using the treadmill. Next up is Coca-Cola. Aside from water, Coca-Cola is the most famous drink in the world. It was invented by an American Civil War veteran, John Pemberton. He was a pharmacist, and one day he made a concoction out of coca leaves and cola nuts, hence the name Coca-Cola. And of course, as many people know in the original recipe, the coca leaves had not been cleared of cocaine. It was originally made for soldiers who were taking morphine for their wounds to treat their nervous system. It was very unsuccessful, and soldiers did not buy it. Later, he converted it into a soft drink for popular consumption. But he soon sold all of his shares in the company to other owners, and those owners cleared the coca leaves of cocaine. Next up is Slinky. When you think about the most simple products ever invented, I'm sure Slinky comes to mind. But Slinky was never actually intended to be a kid's toy. It was invented by a naval engineer called Richard T. James. One day he was working on a way to suspend sensitive instruments on a shipboard. But as he was working on this invention, he accidentally dropped a tension spring. He noticed that the spring crawled away in a funny fashion. So that's why he decided to make it into a children's toy. It's now produced by the James Spring and Wire Company. And so far they've sold nearly 400 million worldwide. Next up is Microwave. You may think that microwaves were invented by some kind of kitchenware company. But no, they were created by one of the biggest defense contractors in the world, Raytheon. Raytheon designed weapons and military electronics. But they also made the thing that your mom cooks TV dinners in. One day, a Raytheon engineer named Percy Spencer had been testing out radar equipment. But he then noticed that microwaves from an active radar had melted the chocolate bar in his pocket. Percy found this amusing, so he quickly got some popping corn. He put it onto the magnetron and it began making popcorn immediately. And that's how we got the microwave that we use today. You can see now why some people are skeptical of microwaves and think it could be bad for your health. After all, it was literally created by one of the world's biggest weapons manufacturers. Next up is Vaseline. In the 19th century, oil was booming. It supported a lot of the British economy. But one problem many oil field works encountered was a waxy substance accumulating on oil rig pumps. They would often scoop this up and simply throw it away. That was until one British chemist named Robert Cheeseborough decided to think differently. He took some of the waxy substance that accumulated on oil rig pumps. 
he described it as a petroleum jelly and did some research on it. His research found that it could be very useful for many things. He realized it could cure wounds and also clean carpets. He also ate a spoonful of Vaseline every single day and lived to be 96. He claimed the reason why he lived so long was because he ate a spoon of Vaseline every day. To be honest, I think I'd rather go a few years early than have to do that every single day. Next up is post-it notes. In every home, school and office, these things are a must. People jot down any memo or reminder and stick it up. But that was not the original purpose for post-it notes. They were created a long time ago by Dr. Spencer Silver and he was trying to invent a lasting adhesive. When he was inventing it, he ran into difficulties. He realized his glue was not strong enough and would become unstuck really easily. He was ready to give up until his colleague Arthur Fry pointed something out. He said he could use the adhesive to anchor his bookmarks in his hymn book. Soon Spencer began producing his adhesive with the paper attached, and that's how these sticky poster notes are now sold worldwide. Next up is Play-Doh. Back in the day when people had big open fireplaces, soot would get all over your walls. That's why a sort of dough was invented to try and get this soot off the walls. But when vinyl wallpapers, which you could easily clean with a sponge, became popular, this was no longer an issue. So that's why the inventor, who was a nursery school teacher, decided to come up with a new use for this putty. She gave it to some kids in her nursery class, and the children loved it. Later on, the detergent was removed from the recipe as it no longer needed to clean things. And she also added in a colouring to make it more fun and vibrant. And that's exactly how Play-Doh came to be and it's now one of the most popular kids toys. And finally on the list, we have Black Dress. Go to any swanky party or look at a red carpet event and you'll see many people wearing a black dress. This was first popularised in 1926 by Coco Chanel. She sewed what is known as the Little Black Dress. The movie stars of the time loved it and wore it at every occasion. But before Coco Chanel did this, that was very uncommon. Before then, black dresses and all black clothing was a sign of mourning. When someone in your family passed away, you would wear some black clothing for at least two years. This was to show you weren't too happy and were sad that they were gone. But now black clothing can be worn on any occasion. Now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner, which was the most interesting backstory behind famous products. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.